hello everyone welcome to sidecan easy tech tutorial today we shall be looking at mil merge on ms word this is one of the most important aspects in ms word i know some people might find this interesting if you find it interesting please give a thumb and don't forget to subscribe i outlined three basic steps on how to deal with mil merge the first one is the data source this is where you can create the table of the recipients. You should note that you can either do this in MS Excel, MS Word or Outlook. Secondly is the letter must be a common letter to all the recipients, except for otherwise you want to do it your own method. But as far as Milmage is concerned, because it will merge all the information of your recipients you've outlined or you've listed in the table the third one is what will be created by mail match this depends on the total number of recipients example if you have 30 recipients you are expecting 30 of search common letter of your recipients suppose this is the letter you are to send to each and every recipients on your list and how to go about this you have the date you have the heading of your letter you have the body of your letter this is just an example of format you have your concluding statement and also your concluding salutation we go to where we have created as far as this video is concerned i created my list on ms excel we have the first name, last name, address, city, email, contact. These are my field names. First of all, we look at mail tab here. From the mail tabs, we click there and we go to start mail merge. We drop down the arrow and we select step by step mail merge wizard. We select it and it will create another dialog table the first one is asking us to select document type letter email message envelope labels we are preparing this information for letter so the letter is selected we have a guide here this is the first step that we have taken we go to the next where you see this arrow you select next starting document so go to next you can see step two of six it has six steps so the step two of six is asking us use the current document okay and this is our current document or the current page that we are then we go to the other aspect it says step three of six step three of six is asking us for the recipient is a select recipient the first one is asking us use an existing list yes we have a already existed list on ms excel and uh, the second the other option is asking us to select from outlook contact you can do that as well and also we have type a new list if you have not yet done that in any of the uh, search offices i name earlier you can go to select recipients here and you can type new recipients you want to you enter the recipients to whom you want to send this letter to and uh, now we are going to browse as a browse use an existing list if you, are, if you have created a list of recipients we browse to search for it where i i save this particular document i saved it in my desktop if you go to desktop we look for letter database we can find it right here this is an excel spreadsheet we'll double click and open it now we see it says sheet one and i saved it on the first sheet you have sheet two sheet three if you did in the first sheet then is for sheet one you click ok down here is asking you first rule of data contains column headers yes where we have the first name 
last name, contact, and so on. They are asking us if they should show that type of format on the list. Yes, we want it, so we select and we click on OK. You can see it's a data source. We have our first name, the address, a city email. Okay, see, we can extend this here if we want to sort this out we want to reduce the number of recipients to whom we are sending this letter to you can click you can undo this you can unmark them if you want to do for all you select here you do for all here for this um, video we are sending this letter to all the recipients you can as well sort you can filter you can sort this alphabetically you can filter you have option here so we click on OK. These are the information we entered in MS Excel. We click on OK. Now we are starting mail merge in Propal. We go to Insert Mail Field. The field, as I mentioned earlier, the field name, where we have the first name, last name, address, contacts, email, and so on these are the field names so go to insert field names we're going to insert these field names okay so we select where we want them to be inserted we select the first name first name we give a space we strike the enter key for the other option we have the address we enter we have the city where the person is and uh, we have the person's email strike the enter key and we have contact the contact of that particular person so here we can see dear mr stroke mrs we select the last name dear mr stroke mrs now we are done in inserting these field names here at this point this particular side here is asking us to preview the results the results of what of what we've entered of what we've labeled the field names that i inserted here here we are asked to preview you preview and see what it will look like now we have date usman kanu abu street layout Bo the email of that person and this is his contact there mr stroke mrs kano so this person is a mail so is for mr kano and there uh, we go down and see if you want to see the second one third fourth fifth we go to the next we select here we go forward and if we want to see the first one, we as well go to the first. The first one is Saidu Kano, 65 King George Avenue, Freetown. Um, this is the email of Saidu Kano and his phone number. So you look for the second, you look for the third, fourth, fifth, on to the last one. From there, we want all of these to come at once. All of these names all of these letters to come in one fold how to do this if we are sending this letter like this is an individual letter if we want to um, uh, make this letter and store them in our document we can we can edit the individual document as we like and that the second one is to print if we want to print the document we can go forth and print the document for each and every uh, recipient for each and the third one is to send vile email is to send through email if you want to send through email we select and send through email suppose we want to send this through email or they are living far off we select send through email and we enter the subject line of this letter as letter of appreciation
letter of appreciation here also you have options mail format if you want it to be as an attachment a plain text or empty ml here we want it to be in this form empty ml and we select it we try to do for all we try to do for all of these recipients all of the five recipients so we select ok or you edit individual document select the individual document you do for all and you select ok automatically all of the this letter will show all of this letter all of the five letter will show automatically you've created for all the recipient the same letter this is the first one is Haidu Kano and uh, thank you for subscribing to my youtube channel regards Saidu Kano at office tutorial free and Sierra Leone and uh, you have on to the last person there is Mohamed Kamara in either form you also try by sending it email uh, unfortunately I'm not connected to internet now so thank you for watching this I hope you like it and don't forget to subscribe drop your comments down the comment box and do give a thumb to this channel